Don't lie to me, I know your cable management sucks. You wouldn't be clicking on this video otherwise. Luckily, me and you are in the same boat because my cable management sucks, but I'm here to fix that with 3D printing and to show you how to fix it for yourself as well. Today we're going to be checking out CableCap, which is a 3D printed, fully modular cable organization system. I first backed this project when it first showed up on my Facebook feed as an ad. I'm sure you guys have been seeing it everywhere too, or maybe that's just targeted advertising really doing its job on me, but either way, it worked and I backed it, and now it's here and I'm here to show it to you because I truly believe that it is something that everybody could use. Since launching on Kickstarter, it has received over 1,600 backers and they have exceeded their goal by over $70,000. So this is a pretty big deal. Also, I just wanted to let you know this is not a sponsored video, despite what you might think. Cable Cap is your ultimate end all, completely modular and compatible with Gridfinity cable storage solution. Today, we're going to be checking out all of the basics of Cable Cap, going over what they are, how to use them, how to pick the sizes, all of that good stuff. Then, we're going to dabble in some of the bases, give you a little bit of an idea of how big or how small you can do this, depending on how crazy you want to go with it. Then, we're going to check out the labels, which is what really makes this 3D print stand out to me. Cable Cap is an STL pack that you receive when you back this project on Kickstarter. You receive a download with a folder that has everything you need to start your own cable cap storage system, including an extremely detailed manual which tells you everything that you need, what order to go in, what sizes are for what cords, and any other things you might need to know. The folders are extremely organized which makes it really easy to find what you're looking for including a cable cap folder, 3D print labels folder, grid system folder, shelf system folder, and a cable clips folder. Cable cap is designed to be fully 3D printed on your standard FTM 3D printer with no supports and no extra tools required, except for maybe magnets if you want to throw those in there, but that's completely up to you. They are recommended to be printed in PLA for indoors and PETG or ABS for outdoors or in a vehicle. It's also recommended to use a layer height of 0.28 to 0.3 millimeters, an infill of 12%, three walls, and the gyroid or rectilinear infill pattern. I just think it's awesome that they include so much detail into this. I mean, they literally give you your print settings right there. There's no questions about anything. They even tell you exactly how to add the magnets by adding a pause in the print profile. This is a really good manual. I'm not just saying that. Like, this is actually a really good informative manual. Cable caps come in five sizes and three different heights, so I'm sure that you can find a cable cap to store pretty much any cable that you need storing. Except for maybe, like, those outdoor extension cords. Those not really going to work here, but it's not designed for that. All of your standard chargers, HDMI cables, USB extenders, micro HDMIs, and pretty much every other cable that you have lying around the house can be stored in cable cap. For sizes, you have your small, medium, wide, large, and extra large. For height options, you have short, standard and tall. I printed out some of all of these in random configurations so that you can see all of the possibilities with this system. Here we have a medium cable cap with the standard height, which I would consider to be just the base standard cable cap. This medium cable cap is designed for your six foot cables, phone chargers, HDMI cables, power cords. Next we have the small cable cap, which I printed out in both the standard five inch height and also the small four inch height. This one is perfect for storing three foot cables, your chargers, your USB cores, even your earbuds. Next, I printed out a wide cable cap in the standard 5 inch height. This wide cable cap is designed for those cables that you don't want to have a sharp bend in them. That's why it's wide, so you can coil your wire a little bit wider and you don't have to worry about sharp turns on the edges of your cables. It's just genius followed by a large cable cap in the short height as well. The large cable cap is designed for your, guess what, large cables, also for your power bricks. The extra large cable cap is, you guessed it, for your even larger cables than the large cables. This is pretty self-explanatory stuff here. You can see just there alone how many possibilities there are with this. Now that you know the right size of the cable caps that you need, you need a way to label them. Luckily, there are plenty of really high quality labels that are already made that come with this project. And I mean a lot, there are well over 50 STLs in this project, so you're getting a lot of material here. There are also different size labels depending on the cable cap that you pick, and there are labels for pretty much everything that you could ever need. We're talking DSLR, PS5, Xbox One, VR, computer, USB-C, headphones, display, ethernet, mini HDMI, aux cord, USB-A to USB-C. I love that one specifically because you know exactly what you're getting. And tons and tons and tons more that I just didn't print out because I'm just here to give you an example. If you want to, you can dive in these files and really see the options here. There's a ton of them. These labels easily clip onto the cable caps with a nice snap design. And they are pretty sturdy too. Once you snap these things on, they're locked in. They're almost hard to get off, which is a good thing. It's also great because you don't have to glue these on. And if you want to, you can just pop that label off and swap it on a different cable cap later. Reduce, reuse, recycle, right? I mean, these people care about the environment. 
I know what you're thinking about these labels. What if I don't have an AMS or any sort of multi-material system? How am I gonna print these out? The creator thought of this and they included a file that allows you to use just a single nozzle with a filament swap built in. So you don't have to have an AMS to print them out like you can do it with just your standard 3D printer with no multi-material system. I know what else you're thinking too. What if there's not a label for what I need? Well, there's a template for custom labels, obviously, because there is nothing that these guys didn't think of. There's also really detailed instructions in the manual about how to create these custom labels. This is seriously super user-friendly. I know you heard me say those keywords modular and gridfinity earlier. It's about time that we talk about those things. So let's talk about this amazing grid system that comes with this project. Now, before we get into all that customization, let's just say you don't want any of that. You just want some place to store these things. Perfect, there are five pre-made grids that you can go load into your slicer and print out right now without any thinking. And you can see one of these right now. The grids look amazing. They work really well. In fact, they really hold these cable caps nicely. This one that I printed out has the option of holding four of the small cable caps and two of the medium cable caps. But of course, you can print out whatever of these pre-made grids that you want. And they all hold different sizes in different amounts. But pre-made is no fun. We need to talk about the modular stuff. When you open the modular grid folder, you're going to notice that there is a folder for small grid pieces, medium, wide, large, and extra large. Does that sound familiar? To you? Does that sound like the exact same sizing that was used for the cable caps themselves? Good, because it is, and that's on purpose. All you have to do is open up the size of whatever cable cap that you're trying to store, like the medium cable cap here, and you have all the connectors you could ever need to build any sort of grid system that you want, and they all work together. You can store your small cable caps with your mediums, with your larges, your extra larges. All you have to do is print out the right grid for the cable cap, and they all just snap together with this really nice fitting. Here's two pieces of the modular grid for the medium cable caps, and you can see they just snap together so nicely, and then just pop those cable caps in there and they are good to go. And it's the exact same thing for the large or the extra large cable caps. Just print out the corresponding ones, click them together, pop your cable cap in there. It's that easy. And of course there are Gridfinity compatible bases because who doesn't love Gridfinity? And if you already have a storage system for your cables that includes Gridfinity, just add this in there. You also might be noticing that some of these grids have some circular cutouts. What could that possibly be for? Obviously it's for wall mounting your cable cap grid. What else could it possibly be for? I don't necessarily have a wall near me that I can mount these on to show you, but let me just hold this thing at a full 90 degree angle and you can see that these caps are not falling out. I had my doubts too, trust me. I did not think that they would be able to stay up mounted on a wall, but I mean, look at this. You can even combine the two so you can have your modular and your wall mounted. You can create your modular base and then mount it on the wall. How many times do I have to say that the possibilities with this project are quite literally endless? For the most part, I'm sure there is an end to the amount of combinations, but it's like out there really far and you don't have to worry about getting near that. This project also comes with these really nice cable clips to store your cables not in the cable caps. There's the standard option which you're seeing right here, the small option which you're also seeing right here, and the large option which you're not seeing because I didn't print one out. These just give you a really nice, really clean way to organize your cables if you need them outside of the cable cap. It's a good way to get rid of your slack and clean up your cables a little bit and maybe like your desk setup or pretty much anywhere. I could see this clip being used in a lot of different scenarios. This is just scratching the surface on this cable cap project. There are also tons of different tray options, a fully modular rack option, grips for that rack, stands for your desk, and so much more that I didn't even touch on in this video. So let me know if you want to see a part two where we really check out those other options and those other storage solutions. I actually really want to, so whether you want it or not, there's probably going to be a part two to this video. I just wanted to show you the basics of what I think is a really amazing project that I'm actually going to use in my life. Of course, all of the links are going to be in the description down below so you can get involved with this project and check it out for yourself. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed checking out just the very basics of this awesome cable store solution. I hope you got some sort of value out of it or maybe just some entertainment value while you're eating lunch. I don't really care. However you enjoy this video, I hope you got something out of it. I hope you found a new way to store your cables. I also hope you enjoyed enough to maybe leave a like and subscribe, but I'm not going to be like all those other YouTubers and tell you to subscribe and never watch this channel again. I want you to subscribe because you actually want to subscribe and you actually want to see more videos from me. So if that's you, then just, you know, rotate that phone, click that little button and subscribe and just make my day. Also, let me know what future videos you want to see or what other 3D printing projects that I should check out in the comments down below. I'm always looking for new ideas. And of course, we can't end off a video without saying a big thank you to all of the channel members, which really make all of this possible. I mean, look at that list. This list is growing a lot. I had to do two separate columns of names. That's awesome. 
And if you want to see your name up here in the next video, then you can click that join button. But of course, you don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is have a great rest of your day and promise me that I will see you later in a future video.